Hey, welcome back to Cedar Porch Homestead. I'm JR. This week, super exciting news, giant developments here on the Backyard Homestead. That's part of the news, not gonna share just yet what's going on in there, but that's part of everything, kind of what we're working towards this week. I've got a lot of debris here in the shop, as you can see on the ground behind me, that we're gonna have to take to the dump. We're gonna be doing that this week as well. I've got a big project I gotta get done as far as for that space. I'm really excited, can't wait to share that with you guys, but you're gonna have to stick around to see what all that's about, what we're building this project for. And I'm gonna share that here in just a minute, but I gotta get to work. Got to get this stuff loaded up. Got to get this project started. Let's go. All right, we are loaded down and we are headed to the dump. Now, unfortunately, I got to drive 30 miles to get to the dump, but it's worth it because there's nobody around here in our town that will take it. So off we go. Well, that was a whole lot of fun. Not too hot yet. It's only about 94 degrees. So we haven't uh, turned into soup just yet down here in the south. But I was a little over dramatic. It was 15 miles to the dump, not 30 miles. I was thinking a round trip. But now we get to go home. And Courtney's got a little surprise for me today. And I'm pretty excited about it. And I'm going to show you what it is as soon as I get home. All right, so this is the surprise I was talking about. What are we having today, Court? Burgers. Hamburgers. What's going to be on the burgers? We're going to do some bacon? Bacon and pepper jack cheese with some homemade spelt buns. I'm going to show you these buns. They look amazing. Ooh, look at them buns. Don't tell Courtney. Oop. <laughs> Definitely not the burger master. So I'm over here in the very corner of my shop. I've got a stack of some old lumber that's been in here for about the last three years. I haven't really had a good project to use on this particular type of wood, uh, but I think it's gonna work for our super secret project that you are going to find out very shortly on what that is going to be. But this wood that I got is really awesome because it was reclaimed out of a house down in Palacios, Texas. It was built in, I think, 1880 is what I was told. So it's a 140-year-old longleaf pine. It was from the rafters, and I can't wait to see how this is going to look up. Getting it cleaned up, going to mill it this evening. Here we go. All right, guys, Courtney's not in the kitchen right now, so I wanted to share something, and I know it's really dark right now. It's gonna come into focus in just a second, but I want to show you what chaos, and we should normalize a level of chaos. Do you see our table? Do you see all the stuff? How about our countertop? Do you see that? That's my fault, and I wanna explain why that's my fault because my wife has figured out the cure to my own personal procrastination. Because what she has discovered is that if I tell her I'm gonna do something, 
she just goes ahead and like cleans out the cabinets or sells our bed frame because I tell her I'm going to make a new bed frame and it forces my hand to where I have to get this done. So we have to take a pause today on getting that super secret furniture project done so that I can turn those two doors or cabinet doors into our pantry with new drawers, pullouts, whatever you want to call it. But let's normalize chaos. It's okay. We all live in it, right? So now I have to get to the shop because, and when my wife sees that I filmed this, she's going to lose it. So uh, leave a comment below to encourage her that chaos is okay. We embrace it. It's fine. <laughs> I gotta get this stuff done before she kills me. Okay, so we're back in the shop. We have to take a pause on the super cool build that we're doing right here that's going to be a part of the super cool unveiling that's gonna be happening right there. That's gonna be happening in like two hours. It's on our calendar. We're gonna be making some super cool announcements here in like two hours. Not that you have to wait two hours. You have to wait just a minute because what we're gonna do right now is an epic build montage for these drawers I gotta make. So let's start that right now. We got to sit through Courtney's graduation. She is now a certified nutritional therapy practitioner. We are <laughs> extremely proud, but Courtney, let us know what is an NTP. What would you say you do here? Well, we look at a holistic, it's a holistic approach to nutrition based on a person's bio-individuality, and we look deep at what is going on in your body and use foundations in nutrition to help support whatever is going on. It's the simple, that's a simple rundown. Right. That's why she had to go to school for a year to figure <laughs> out how to say that because I'm still not 100% sure. I'm eating better, I feel better, she's eating better, I think she's feeling better. So. We're learning a lot and Courtney is officially moving into the wood shop and that's what's going on back here. The caution tape's up. We're gonna be under construction zone all next week. We're gonna take you guys along as we're doing that. We're so excited to bring Courtney into the shop. She's gonna have her own office. So make sure you're gonna stay tuned and watch those videos as we finish out this office. And that was the big surprise. I'm working on a desk and it's my gift to Courtney to go in her office and it is just the little part that I can do to welcome her into my wood shop. So, Courtney, I'm really happy that we got through this, but I still have a lot of work to do, <laughs> and I can't do that sitting talking with Courtney. I gotta get to work. Okay, so here's a quick update. Tragedy has struck in the shop. I wasn't paying attention. I knocked over my good camera. It's broke. We're having to send it back in for repairs. So I wasn't able to film building this really cool base for her desk. Now she has finally given us approval on what color and what her desk is gonna be finished out in. So let me give you a quick glimpse on that. I think it's amazing. That's not because I'm biased. I've spent so much time on this thing. 
I literally think this is one of the coolest projects I've done considering this was a 140 year old longleaf pine salvaged from a house down on the bay. But check out the bottom of this desk. So I think this desk is coming together really nicely. We're gonna finish it up today because we are going to be moving forward in getting Courtney settled in that room next week to make her office. So let's get the desk done today. Can't do that talking to you guys. Let's get busy. Okay, we're done. I think it looks amazing. I just called Courtney so that she can check it out and we're gonna see what her reaction is. You're gonna see it when I see it. So let's see. Hi. Oh my goodness. What do you think? Oh, I love that. It's so pretty. It's beautiful, honey. Think you can do some work off that? Yeah, I like that a lot. I like the color that it turned out to be. Well, you picked it. I'm scared of you, though. I messed the top up. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I mean, not on purpose. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. All right, there you go. Well, so now what we have to do is we have to actually build her an office. Yay. I told her next week I own her. She's mine, five days, full build, in there. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, well, if you like our content, make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified when we come up with new content. Like Courtney's office build. See you next week. Bye. Love ya. <laughs>